What's up guys, this is Bass Brawler, and as you can see, um, well you guys probably can't tell this, or from this, but I am recording this video upside down, okay? And uh, maybe you will be able to tell after you watch the video, but it's actually kind of rotated, like it's left to right. I will try to fix it in a way that you guys will see it nicely. I might have to convert it to portrait because the way it is right now. But anyway, let's get into it. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to animate using three apps. Okay? Now, I'm mostly going to be using two apps. Two of these apps are helpful. But the reason why I'm telling you about the third app is in case you want to add a title or something, maybe add special effects. I mean, I know you can do that with your basic Android phone. And again, this is using applications. If you draw on a tablet, if you draw on your phone, or maybe you even do trace drawings, which I do sometimes, which is after you draw on a piece of paper. And I know most professional animators do this too, so that things look more clean. Um, you animate on paper first, and then trace it on your tablet, device, whatever you use. Or even a computer, because computers have a lot better software than... Android devices, or even Apple devices. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video. So as you can see right here, I got Lionel. And as you can see, hold on. I'm going to try to make this sound as somewhat cool as possible. Oh, I hate, I hate how when you do it this way, um, the apps are on that side. So I might have to go, since the video is portrait anyway, I'm going to do this real quick. There we go. Plus, you guys can see it a little better because it's more zoomed out. So, as you can see, Lionel. And then, as you can see, Lionel. Now, you may be like, wait a minute, Baseballer, what are you doing? Well, what the video is about, I'm animating. So, these are two frames. So, right there, Lionel is holding his hand because if you guys read my manga, Lionel gets a pentagram on, written on his hand. Okay? Now, people... I know I'm <laughs> teaching you guys how to animate, but people, um, you know, they, what's it called? They designate the pentagram with demons. And in my manga specifically, this has nothing to do with religion or anything. The pentagram uh, coincides with both angels and demons. The pentagram is a key, basically. It's, it's like, no, it's more like a doorway, not a key. It's like a door telling you, would you like to unlock your inner demons or your inner angels? And Lionel chooses both, if that makes sense. He realizes, I'm human. I need to use these, both my good and evil, to make me stronger. Okay? So that's why he is purple. Because it's like the color that's in the middle of black and white. If that makes sense. I mean, yes, it is gray too, but gray doesn't look cool. That's what uh, Rosado's for. I'm joking. But yeah, so we got him about to turn. So here's the thing. I'm going to use this Lionel, the same thing, other or except for I'm going to erase his sword and I'm going to make him throw his sword out, if that makes sense. And what I'm also going to try to do is I'm going to try to make the screen glide with the background. So I'm going to make the background a lot bigger. That's the background right there. Okay, so we're going to be able to move our background. It's not going to be able to move a lot, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. So, actually, on second thought, that is a little more complicated for what I'm doing. I'm more of a beginner or intermediate, I don't know. I consider myself a beginner, so I'm not going to do that on second thought. I'm just going to have him throw his sword out. His sword will return, but it's in this, what I'm doing right now. It's not going to be there. So, here's what you do, okay? I'm going to show you the animation step right now. Um, I don't have the other app installed on my tablet. I might have to pause the video or cut it and then do another video. Um, you guys don't need to know that, but that's how I edit my videos. I'll just do another one. But I'm going to use his exact same everything except for his arm and his sword. Even that arm, I'm going to leave it in the same spot. For now, for now. It's going to change. That arm's going to change as well. But his arm right here, it's all going to change. And I'll show you what I mean. So right here, here's what I did before, okay? 
Um, if let's see if it does it actually when I go back. So all I've been doing really is looking. No, here, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back and let's see if it does it. That's where I drew him. It was like this. That's where I drew Lionel. All the way over here. And then I did this. I moved it over here. And I moved it down because his legs weren't perfect. And then look. His head is sort of the same shape. His proportions are, de proportions are decent. And I didn't even have to resize it. I didn't even get into resizing. Normally I resize because it's not always the same exact size. But somehow I did it good and I got it right. So... He's the exact same size, all right? So I'm gonna do the same thing in this one, except instead of just drawing another Lionel here, instead what I'm going to do, hold on, let me do that uh, for, wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> of course, right, right, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, instead of moving, or instead of just drawing another one over by creating a new layer, which is what I did last time, let me show you the tool that I'm talking about right there. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to do this, okay? So I'm going to get this out of the way so you guys can see it better. I'm going to crop him. Lionel, there. Then I'm going to go down here. Look down here if you're watching the video. I'm going to go here, copy, and then paste. Now you may be like, why'd you paste it? Why didn't you create a new layer? Well, it already creates a new layer for you. I don't even have to do that. So now what I'm going to do is I don't have to move Lionel anywhere. He can stay right here. I'm just gonna do that. This video is gonna be a long video. I don't think my phone will have enough space for it. I'm gonna have to do it into parts and uh, upload as I go. So um, I might not have this video finished while this is being uploaded. You never know. Um, plus I have to use the restroom, which is also going to make me anticipated and sound a little disgruntled and a little rushed and psycho. Plus I had coffee. So yeah, I kind of sound crazy in this video, but from what I can tell, crazy equals entertainment, so it's going to be good anyway. So we are going to get started on the drawing process, how I draw all my stuff. So, oh my gosh, dude, that coffee is great. I'm not going to tell you guys where I got it from because it might not be where you guys not live. I don't know how to say it. Um, it might not be in your residence. There we go. That's, 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 that's good. So I'm not that good of an animator, and I'm not a patient person. So, in this thing, I am creating several frames for the action I'm doing, but at the same time, I don't want this to take super long, so we're basically going to do what I call, for those of you who know about this store, I know there's people that are not from my country that watch my YouTube videos. And you guys should all know what country I'm from, from my accent. Uh, and that is Walmart. I call this my Walmart tactic, which is basically where I do, like, one or two... Th two or three frames for an animation. And if you guys go to my preview, which I will also link in the description for this video, because this video is probably not the full animation. It's not going to be out for a while. Um, my estimate is nine days from when I started, which was yesterday. Um, and it should take me nine days to finish this. Um, but I am taking my time more than what I did with my previous animations. Plus my art's better. So all that combined is going to be spicy. <laughs> um, and I don't draw all of Lionel's details, all his, um, what's it called? I don't know what the word is for them. But anyway, we're just going to draw his arm out. Or <laughs> that was, that was garbage. I apologize. It's better for me to use my, uh, what the heck? There we go. It's better for me to use my stylus in this case. In this scenario. So yeah, now we got his arm out. And his sword looks like, from where it is, like, you see me holding the pen? It looks like the sword's going out that, like that. So, we're gonna draw a little tip of his sword coming out, like that. There we go. And that's good. So, now you're like, okay, um, well now you gotta test it. Which is what I'm about to do. Well, actually... Because this is a tutorial video, it's more like me showing you guys about testing it. Um, yeah, hold on. We gotta fix his arm, too. Uh, we gotta make it just look a little more extended with the bicep. And other than that, it should be good. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, we also gotta get rid of this again. 
I just decided to draw a hand to see where it would fit, but it's all good. That looks fine. That looks perfectly fine. Uh, to me, anyway. For, for you guys, you're going to be like, what the heck did you just do, baseballer? You ruined the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, so now we are going to test the thing, or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Wow, I'm so confident about this. So, we go from that to that. It's a swing. Like, you can kind of see it. Like, swing. 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 And then we'll even add some accents. That's what I'm looking... That's the word I was looking for earlier. Accents. So that... Yeah, we got a little bit of accents. So that we actually got a little swinging motion. So it's like that. Swing. 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 Okay, I did the wrong one. Swing. There we go. You guys like that? I bet you guys like that. All right. Uh, I know there's an invisible layer selected. You don't got to tell me three times. So, there you go. That is what I call um, Walmart animating. And I don't want to take forever to draw, and I want this to be one video. I apologize. I mean, I don't want you guys to see my exact drawing ability. Well, I do, but I can't really because my phone sucks. Um, so yeah, I already showed you guys what I call um, detail animating, which is where you draw it again and then place it over. And then I showed you guys Walmart animation, where you take the exact same thing, but you just draw the movement, the action you're trying to display, which is that. Now, he is going to have a longer animation. It's basically him like... He's throwing his... Okay, so from here, he's throwing his sword out like that. And then he's going to bring it back and his head's going to be over his shoulder and it's going to be looking straight instead of at an angle. Um, you guys will see what I mean once the animation comes out. All right, now we are going to get into the app location. Now I have to download it, so I'm going to be right back. All right, guys, my apologies, but I have to record this video this way because of the uh, the screen recorder. And uh, I was talking about the screen too. All of it is all messed up now. So um, after you download PowerDirector, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You go here. You can see all my little files that I did. Um, we're going to go to Medimang Paint. And you can see all the animation stuff, which some of it I don't want you to see. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go to this one. And we're going to add that. I'm going to try to do this without you guys seeing any uh, things. All right, go back. All right, there we go. And from here, we got our three images now. We're going to play all three of them as in a video. So we got Lionel with his sword outreached. <laughs> him with his sword in. I did it backwards, I know. And then him back like that. So now what you do is you put him in order first because uh, I'm an idiot and I didn't do that. Also, by the way, I got an idea for a new video from Dragon Ball Heroes News. Um, it's going to be kind of another rant. Except it's not at Boo at this time. <laughs> anyway uh so now you got your three things so here's what you want to do okay you want to take this and this is how you make an animation using this app take pan and zoom zoom off it automatically sets it to a random motion i wish there was a way you could fix this you can't there's no setting that takes it away you do apply to all so that it looks crisp then you go to duration go to five seconds apply to all there you go all right, and now we're gonna save our video. Um, how do you do it on this big old screen? You go here. Oh, no, no, they got a save button right here. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to, when I upload a video, by the way, I go straight to YouTube. But in this case, we're going to go to this. We're gonna do HD. It takes like five seconds. We're gonna, we're done with that. So now we're gonna delete this one delete this project and we're going to create a new one now I can edit videos on here yay so I might make uh, videos with my tablet I'm not sure how good the camera is so that's the thing we're going to go to PowerDirector we're going to set our video up and then we got 
this. So we got him doing that. So now for it to be faster, what you want to do is you want to click there or tap. Then you want to go to speed. You guys can't see it, but it's up here. It has like the little thermometer looking thingy. Or I don't know what type of meter it is, like something that would be on a car. And you want to go up to whatever speed you think fits. Now for me, it usually takes four or eight speed for the animation to look neat, even with 0.5 seconds. And there you couldn't see it at all because it's being stupid right now. I want to, okay, how come I can't view it in full? Oh, there we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Full screen, okay. So let's restart our video. It, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it right now. It does it perfectly on my phone. But it's supposed to, yeah. So let's go back to it. Nope, here, yeah, there we go. Speed. We're going to try 2x this time. There we go. Just so you guys can see kind of what it is. All right, why is it not working? So yeah, there you go. Now again, you can go up to 4 speed or even 8 speed, depending on how crisp you want your animation to look. And that's pretty much it. Now you may be like, oh, what about the third app? Um, I would show you the third app. Well, I'll show you on the Google Play Store because I don't have it on my tablet. So we are going to go to Google Play. Actually, I do have it. It's right here. Auto, photo, cut, paste. There is another app that helps. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Second thought. This is not the app I was talking about. This app is to cut photos and I don't exactly want to do that right now. But there was Google Play right here. So you want to go. And then it's this one, Pixlr. You want to go to Pixlr and then you're good. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one whenever that may be. I'm going to upload some gameplay today as well. But I really want to work on this animation. And I want to get the next 30 seconds done because I'm already 30 about 36 seconds complete with it. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one whenever that may be.